It's really difficult to get a straight answer as to exactly what happens in it. Right. You know, right. What they've said is it's got dispersion of infrared light, but whether that's really true or not is to be yeah. seen. Until I can see it, it's hard to know. But we're at British Science Week, and behind us over here, we have a 3D body scanner. The way it works is that these cameras shoot out infrared light, bounce off the person, and we pick up where it is. Now, we're trying to explain to school kids what it's like, and it's a bit difficult because they can't see it. So, over here, we have this gentleman who's got... What's this? This is the infrared heat camera. Okay, so we're going to see if this camera here will show up. Actually, there's a back screen though, isn't there? there is a screen Let's um, bring it around here. This screen there, as you can see, I put my hands... The screen of this iPhone is not very well, but there. You can see my hands glowing white. So that's the infrared heat, isn't it? The heat reflects okay. off your hands, so white is hot. Yeah. So we're going to see if we can see the infrared beams of the body scanner with this awesome piece of science kit. So we've got um, Dr. Simeon Gill being body scanned in his biosame machine. And we can see heat there. Can we focus on him so we can get any scatter? Lots of infrared heat, it's very nice. Science short of that is, infrared heat cameras are fantastic for body heat, but you can't tell the infrared from the body scanner with a standard one of these. The experiment continues later on.